Lent begins on Wednesday. For some Christians, that means giving up sweets, and that means no punchkis. You've never heard of them? Just watch. In Wisconsin reporter Andy Soth will soon have you craving the Polish pastry that is the pride of Pulaski. Punchki day is the day before Lent, the middle of winter, and on a Tuesday, why not? Why not a punchki? It's similar to a Bismarck, but it's richer and has more butter and eggs in it. Uh, flour, sugar, eggs, uh, butter, yeast, salt. It's an old family recipe. It's, uh, it's a fantastic recipe. We're quite proud of it. And one's not enough. You need more. <laughs> but we'll draw from people from the, from the UP, uh, from the Fox River Valley, Fond du Lac area, Milwaukee. Uh, Chicago we've even had. It's a long process. We start at 1 o'clock Monday morning, 36 hours ago. That's all right. Sleep's overrated. <laughs> one raspberry, one cherry. We pretty much stuck to the basics. But then, you know, we had so many people asking for chocolate. And some of the traditionals that come in, you know, they're kind of like, ah, that's not rich, Steve. What are you, what are you doing? You know, it's either brewed or it's plain. You're kind of like, oh, I've got your proof, don't worry. These are ready to go, and those aren't too far behind. So we're going to take these to the fryer. That, that nice round pillow, or as in Polish, puczki means little package. We joke about it, it's not just another jelly donut, but it's because it isn't. And once they taste it, they realize. That's the way is supposed to look. And that is why we do it. Greg Smarava says his family bakery sold more than 12,000 punchkis just before Lent last year.